Now at noon, we have an update on that mass shooting that just rocked our state. The father of the suspected Appalachian High School shooter sat before a judge in Barrow County Court today. Colin Gray faces several charges, including two counts of second degree murder. Atlanta News first reporter Sarah Hammond is live from the Barrow County Courthouse. And Sarah, investigators talk extensively about how the day of that shooting unfolded. Some quite disturbing details for sure. Yes, absolutely. So during this hearing for 54 year old Colin Gray, we heard from two investigators with the GBI as well as an investigator from the Barrow County Sheriff's Office. And there's a lot to unpack uh, from what they talked about detailing the day of the events and some of the events leading up to the shooting. But one of the big things to note was the revelation that allegedly 14 year old Colt Gray wrote down his plans for this school shooting in a notebook that was recovered from his classroom. Now, the Georgia Bureau of Investigation says Colt detailed the layout of the school and how many people he estimated he would kill. In one section, he wrote to himself, quote, take a moment or two to stay calm and really think if I want to do this. Investigators say Colt texted his father, Colin, and his mother just before the shooting saying, quote, I'm sorry. GBI Special Agent Lucas Byer said once Colt pulled the gun out of his backpack in the bathroom, and realized he was locked out of his classroom, he fired into another classroom for approximately seven seconds where he killed student Christian Angulo. He then found the other three victims in various points in the hallway. Now, through multiple interviews with the family, the GBI says Colt had access to multiple guns in his father's home, including the one his father gifted him for Christmas of last year that he kept in his bedroom. That's the gun Colt allegedly used in this shooting. Investigators also say through a search warrant, they found what they described as a shrine to other school shooters in Colt's gaming room with photos and newspaper clippings. His father, Colin, told investigators he saw the shrine but did not know who the people were. GBI Special Agent Kelsey Ward says Colt left a letter to his family in his computer room before the shooting. It says, just know it's not your fault. You tried your hardest, not only for me, but for Jenny and Coley. Forgive me as for what I've done. It's out of my control. Know that I love y'all. See ya. And GBI investigators also say that Colin bought multiple accessories for the rifle that he bought his son as, as Colt asked for them, including a laser sight, a tactical vest, and a mask, all of which they say were used the day of the shooting. We're going to have much more on what came out of this hearing this afternoon on Atlanta News First. But for now, live at the Barrow County Courthouse, I'm Sarah Hammond with Atlanta News First.